postseason Big Brother 18 Jerry interview show with your favorite Michelle. Now look, if you guys want to see any of these oh, I'm sorry. Oh, she's already yelling at me. It's Big Me. She's the show with Big Me. They can't hear you yet. I just seem crazy. Uh, you guys can watch any of these shows back at yourrealityrecaps.com slash BB18. Uh, you can check out our spoiler shows at slash BB18 spoilers. Flashbacks are at slash BB18 flashbacks. And because it is officially Big Brother Over the Top season, all of that content is at your recaps.com slash bbott 24 7 live feed updates are on twitter at bbott live feeds and lastly if you want to help support our shows consider becoming a patron at your recaps.com slash patron you get weekly shows for patron prize giveaways each week and it keeps our shows up and running or you can do one-time donation at your recaps.com slash paypal but now Shut up, Eric. It's the one we've all been waiting for. It's Big Meech. Hey, guys. What's up? What are you doing? I'm just happy to be home. I have makeup again. I have nice clothes again. I'm happy. Makeup and nice clothes. Now, I'm glad. Look, I, I just want to start off right like this. Are the new clothes stolen from the Big Brother house? <laughs> I did not steal. The only things I have are Paul's sweatpants, which he gave me. And then Natalie gave me a makeup item. That is it. I don't know what people are saying about me stealing stuff. You know who had Nicole's bikini bottoms? Zakia, not me. Who had sweatpants? What do you mean? Somebody took sweatpants. Child. I know. They're Paul. Paul gave them to me. Oh, Paul. All right. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to yell at Paul later. No. I will. He gave them to me. He says he doesn't like wearing sweatpants. All right, Paul. All right. We're going to see. I think Paul is, might be on tomorrow or Saturday. We're going <laughs> to get to the bottom of sweatpant gate. <laughs> okay. Now, let me let everybody know two things really quickly is become a fan so you can ask questions right now in the show. You can stick them in the chat room or you can tweet me with hashtag YRR live. The number one fan of this show is winning. <gasps> Autographed Big Meech tissues <laughs> as voted on by your fans. Awesome. Good it, good choice, guys. Good choice. Now, Michelle, you and I have something in common. <laughs> and it is that maybe we're not the biggest fans of Nicole's game. That is true. And now I heard like a little while ago, there was this article that came out where Nicole was kind of saying that basically it's all your fault. You're not a girl's girl and you're the reason she doesn't work with girls. So I wanted to give you the floor to speak about this Nicole article. Okay, well, first things first, I'm pretty sure that I'm going out of the house with more girlfriends than she is. I think she's only walking out with Zakia. And I have, you know, Day, Bridget, Nat, um, I even Zakia, me and Zakia are close. Um, T I'm talking to Tiffany. Like, I don't know what the deal is, but I think that she just seems very cold towards girls, you know, and... She even said in her preseason 16 interview that girls don't like her for some reason. And that's a red flag when uh, girls say that girls don't like me because it's usually the opposite. Mm hmm. Now, she said like what didn't she say something about like um, her mom didn't it have something to do with like her mom or something in the article? Or yeah. So she mentioned that I was really rude to her mom. Which is kind of true, but it was a totally an accident. We were at the rap party and I was, you know, I saw Day and I'm just like saying like, you messed up, Day, you messed up. And like, then they started talking in a group about the next party. And then, um, the, mo the well, I didn't know it was her mom at the time, but then she was like, oh, Nicole's not going. So I assumed that this was someone that didn't like Nicole. So I was like, oh yeah, she's probably going to be fucking Corey. Turns out to be her mother. I was mortified. I didn't realize it was her mother. I felt horrible. And then she's like, you better watch your mouth, girl. And I ran away. It was it was very horrible. I feel bad because I literally didn't know. If it was if I knew it was her mom, I wouldn't have said that. 
So, do you want to apologize to her now? She might be watching. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Miss Branzel. I didn't mean it. I didn't know it was you. Um, I would like to co-sign that and say, I'm sorry, too, for everything I've said. Yay, you love <laughs> us now. Um, yeah, I mean, I think a moment for everyone in this house. I want to get the Nicole stuff out of the way right in the beginning, because you have a ton of questions about Nicole. For example, Amanda Bear says, your uh, snake hole painting was really good, and your calling out of her in your um, nomination speech was amazing. A lot of people, I think it was the turning point uh, in the season for them when you really kind of went after her and her game. Nobody was really speaking up about her until mm. you kicked it off. So was that was that hard for you? Or did you just think, I'm going out, it doesn't matter? Well, it all started when I thought I was totally going home for sure for the double eviction. And I'm like, dude, Nicole's in an amazing spot. And she is you know, going to be floating her way till final two. And I just had to call her out. I was like, you know what? I'm going out. I'm going to build up her game, whatever. And then um, I continued to do that because she was still sitting pretty. She was. She was definitely sitting pretty all the way to the end. Now, we saw a little bit uh, in jury. It seemed like people were really making a case for Nicole. I know it seemed like Dr. Will was kind of hard on you in that. Just a bit. <laughs> Is there anything that you wish you would have done differently to uh, differently in that jury meeting where you guys were all making your cases for who you thought should win the game? Right. So I still have amazing points about why Paul should have won. I mean, he literally played a better game than her. Uh, it just sucks because when all the cameras are on you and the lights and stuff like that, and it's just such a very formal setting that it's hard to, you know, spill out what you want to say. Plus, Dr. Will's very intimidating and maybe cries. So my emotions got involved um, and made me forget everything. And I looked like an idiot, but whatever. I don't think you look like an idiot. I think you're at Really? No, I really think your edit played into something I know we like here. It was almost like like comedy in a way, which I know sounds bad because you were crying no. and you were upset, but it was like always the break for us. Like CBS used that a lot to cut mm -hmm. to like, oh, it's crying, but it's funny. And then we weren't really sure, like, is Michelle just really like ramping up? All right, I'm going to call you Big Meech. It's so hard for me to do that. <laughs> Uh, is she just re like ramping it up or were you really upset in those moments like throwing the apple at Paul or stuff like that that was really like you were really upset completely 100% yeah so it didn't start my emotions didn't really start to kick into like probably day 50 like when day left everything just got so stressful and everything just caught up with me and finally I start to feel everything and then I'm not ashamed of crying. I just let it out. I feel better after. I kind of had a meltdown before the show because I couldn't find my headphones. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, look at my Snapchat. I have a picture of me crying. What is your Snapchat? Although we'll tell everyone at the end, but tell them now too. What's your Snapchat? Oh, it's just Michelle.Meyer. Nothing special. You need to big meet all of them. I know. Everyone stole all of them though. Uh, mm, you can get them back. I'll tell you after how you could probably get them back. Okay. Now, I have to say, in the beginning of the season, it was your video package, if we start at the beginning, was a touch controversial. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know if it was... I, I just want to let you speak on it. So basically, we saw basically you saying, I don't like fat people. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of people latched on to that one right, and that you yeah. hate mayo right. i love mayo we're gonna be best friends because of somebody <laughs> else but you need to know i love mayo <laughs> i ate so, some in the house don't worry i'm a hypocrite uh, so what like what did do you feel like that was an accurate representation that kind of video package or like is there anything that you want to say about it to the people who uh, might be haters or feel like oh michelle doesn't like fat people like, right. what do you want to say to those people I think it was definitely a miss, like, communic like, I don't think it was me as a character. I don't get why that was included in my tape package. I don't get why that was asked or why it matters. Um, I'm kind of pissed about it. But at the end of the day, I'm just a very, very insecure person. I mean, I've suffered with eating disorders in the past, and I hate my body, as you can probably see on the TV show. So it just is a very triggering point, And I don't know, just disliking 
bad people helps me motivate me, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna I don't dislike them. Like if if someone came like I don't I just I dislike when um uh, like I don't know how to say it. Like I love people. I love talking to people. I'll have a conversation, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'll love you as a person. But at the end of the day, I don't like people that blame um, their weight on genetics and stuff like that. That's what I was trying to say. Or people that, I don't know. And you were answering a question you were asked. Yeah, I was. Yeah. And I just wondered, why is this being asked? And I probably should have wiped out my Reddit history. Um, <laughs> lock it up. But lock it up beforehand. Lock it up before. Yeah. I will say this on a completely serious note. I don't think that um, or I do know that eating disorders and stuff like that is obviously a very serious topic right now. And I think you now have such a great platform to help people on that like i hope that that's something that maybe you consider doing in the future because i'm sure you would be an inspiration for thousands right. and thousands of people well i need to get my uh shit together first and work on myself yeah. before i can motivate other people well right but maybe <laughs> but that is maybe other people want to go on that journey with you is what i'm saying let's start a youtube channel for big Meech. <laughs> <laughs> big Meech's journey right we'll do it we will do it i haven't uh, made a gym membership yet i still need to go do that um, oh you but you didn't just like the fun classes like like the fun spin classes when you get to oh, like, no. do the i oh, hate no? spinning i do too it's too much exercise <laughs> um okay let me go back to amanda bear's question one more time so she doesn't get mad at me <laughs> she um did love your snake hole art but we got this <laughs> question a lot People want to know, are you going to be making more, you know, paintings and stuff that you could maybe sell to fans or give fans um, an option to buy somehow? Maybe T-shirts, put them on them. Really? They want that? Oh, my God. That was one of your top questions is people want to know, are you going to be putting out T-shirts or stuff with your artwork on it? Because people do love it. Uh, I don't know. I could try. I think that's a cool idea if you guys want to buy them, but... I don't know. I'll I'll work on it. I'll see. We'll see. You should do it. You should totally. I'm serious. I we can, we have lots of things we can talk about after this. <laughs> um, Big Meech Rockstay wants to know. Big Meech, uh, who from the cast have you been keeping in touch with, and is there anybody that you won't keep in touch with? Hmm, I wonder who. <laughs> no. So I've been talking to Glenn, Jose, Tiffany, Bridget. Natalie, Day, um, and James, and Victor. Perfect. So. There you go. I also want to say super uh, quickly, a lot of people in the chat room, and uh, Vanessa Mack most recently says, Michelle, you're a beautiful, strong woman. You survived Big Brother. You can survive any of it. You will. Oh, you thank you. Set your up. Thanks, Vanessa. Vanessa loves you. Uh, <laughs> if is there anything we got this question a lot for you too? If there was anything that happened while you were in the house that you learned now that you're outside of the house that shocked you, um, either let's start with from inside the house. Was there anything you learned when you got out of the house that happened in the house that shocked you? All the sex. Oh yeah. Yeah, I. I my mind was blown. I had no idea, no idea whatsoever, and it really shocks me. Well, you are in kind of a safe zone. I don't feel like <laughs> a lot of it happened in the London room. <laughs> Thank goodness. I think you were in like quarantine area. You were safe. What about from outside of the house? Did anything shock you that you found out you missed, like Pokemon Go? Or yeah, that Pokemon Go sounds really cool. I had um, the, like, Pokemon Yellow or something on my phone that I used to play, but, um, yeah, that's really shocking. Apparently, there's some North Korea drama. They, like, were testing. Yeah, yeah scary. Scary. <laughs> A little scary. I don't like it. No, don't like it. And you're like me. We're both afraid of, like, everything. So, <laughs> we're the same on that. I'm like, nope, I don't even look at the news. Uh, Camila uh, Cabana, and you got this question a ton too, wants to know, have you gotten your bedroom back or did your sister officially steal it? My God, yes. I do not have my bedroom back. I'm slumming it up in whatever this guest bedroom is. And I literally had a freak out because I can't find anything of mine. I'm using some like janked up headphones right now. I want my old Apple headphones. I literally was crying before the show because I couldn't find anything. I can't find half my clothes. I'm very upset. 
Well, uh, we will be sending you tissues to sign from your Thank number you. one fan. Thank you can you. use some of those. Um, so do you know, Have has anybody told you about that drama um, that happened where your sister said, I'm taking her room back on Twitter, I'm taking her room this summer and, and all uh-uh. that? Has anybody, nobody's really filled you in on that? Well, no, I've heard about her Twitter. I didn't hear about that um, tweet. Um It was basically part of it all. She was saying, I'm taking a room. (laughs) I the thing is, I don't like the fact when she, you know, leaked my dirty laundry, but I think it was hilarious when she was (laughs) like tweeting at Cody and like his dad and (laughs) stuff. Her tweets were gold, the ones that weren't about me. Uh are you guys good now? Are you are is there sisterly love now or not until you get your room back? Uh, well, we, we were good. Like we just, I took her to the dentist today, but then when I was looking for my headphones, I had like, I, I'm not even giving you a major, major freak out where I was like screaming. And so right now we're not good, but we were like two hours ago. Okay. I'm also going to add stress management into the things that we're going to work on. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go with stress management too. No, uh, I think it's, I think it's sisterly love and, and it's funny. Um, Wendy501 wants to know, Michelle, do you regret not following your gut and nominating Nicole? Yes, this is my biggest mistake ever. And I go to sleep every night thinking about how I hate myself for not going with my gut. That's my best advice. If you guys ever get to go on Big Brother, go with your gut. Like, I sniffed out that winner. Like, freaking, I knew she was going to, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it that she was going to win. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I, mm, I thought Paul would win. Honestly, I was all in. I thought there was no way you guys were gonna, well, I mean, you didn't, but I thought there was no way that Devon was gonna give it to Nicole. I was also kind of shocked about, um, Natalie giving it to, uh, Nicole as well. Those two shocked me. I was, I kind of expected Natalie to vote for Nicole, but Devon shocked me for sure. I get it because essentially Paul voted James out, but I still thought like you might not have gotten up to this part in the season yet, but right before James got booted, Mm -hmm. uh, Natalie told him, I mean, right before Natalie got booted, she told James, if you work with Nicole in this game, I will never talk to you outside right yeah so. i think yeah i remember that um what the jackie fox in the chat room wants to know <laughs> what was your favorite and least favorite competition to compete in by the way love you and a million hearts i uh, love you jackie um let's see my favorite one was of course otev that is like a big brother classic and i want it and the frog was really feisty which i loved mm-hmm. um and then i freaking hate hide and go veto that is the worst competition ever i hate it i hate it i hate it i hate it and i hated the aftermath too yeah the yeah well um who here's a question from uh j leanne martinez in the chat room wants to know how are things with you and bridget now is there still tension or are you guys good now oh no so that last week when we were in the house together we really bonded and then in jury house we really bonded too and she's one of my good friends now we had a lot of fun together so yeah i'm really really happy that i got to know her and i feel horrible for anything that i've done to her and i'm just so glad she's such a great person to forgive me it takes a lot to you know do that so i we love bridge our little cabbage patch kids i know all right now mr jenkins mr jenkins (laughs) speaking of other people that you love Mm -hmm. what was it like meeting ian in person adds another one Uh, of your top questions wow it was literally i never ever thought in a million years i'd meet him it was amazing he's such a nice guy uh it was amazing that oh okay that's (laughs) all you have any plans to talk to him again yeah we're texting oh texting with the t with no, a T. No S in the front? No, no. Oh, no. Just Ian. texting. <laughs> no sexting of the Ian. <laughs> I kind of like it. I love it. I love now a Michelle and Ian couple. <laughs> I'm all in on it. Um, after learning more about what happened during this season, is there anybody that you wish you had worked with earlier on in the game or from the start? Right. So I wish that I had teamed up with Natalie, Bridget, Frank, T, 
Tiffany and Day. I think that us, and it's funny because Frank had mentioned that he could see us all being an alliance called the Misfit Toys or something. And then he mm. went, like, gave us all people. So I think that would have been a really great group of people to work with. I don't think you would have been able to use it. It's trademarked. Oh, that's true. There's always that thing where where it's uh tri- where they won't let you use any names that are trademarked. Oh, right. Um, you someone in the chat room named Glenn says, "Oh, you wouldn't have worked with me." <laughs> Glenn, yes, I would have. <laughs> Super uh, fans reunite. Glenn is the best. Love, I know. Love, love Glenn. He loves you. He t- he told me to you know do it so. Glenn is the best. I love Glenn. Um, Meech, as a returner, who would you want to see from earlier seasons if you could replace um, Nicole or Frank? If you could replace any one of them with somebody else from an earlier season, who would you want? And that's from Nicole Kelly in the chat room. Nicole Franzel? No, Kelly. I know. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, let's see here. Okay, instead of Nicole, I would have wanted Amanda. See, I love big personalities, like not necessarily like working like strategically with them, but like I just would love to have them in the house. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, Amanda, Zach, um, who else? Johnny Mac is hilarious. Um, there's another girl. I love Danny Donato for some reason. She is she is amazing and she's a badass. So I would have loved to see her. Is there um is there anybody from Canada? Rockstay uh also asked this because a lot of people now from Canada are tricky and they watch our feeds. Do you watch any of the seasons of Big Brother Canada? I love Big Brother Canada almost as much as like US. Like like oh like I don't know. I love it. Um I've seen two, three, and four. Really excited for five. I've been talking to some of the Big Brother Canada people and they are amazing. I love them. She wants to know who your favorite Big Brother Canada player is. Um, gosh, I, I don't really know if I have a favorite. I really think Neto played an awesome game and she's gorgeous, but you know, all of them are so funny and such good characters, like big characters. I, you know, I enjoy them all for some reason. Maybe we'll have to, I wonder if they would let us, maybe because we do the interviews in the house. Big Brother Canada loves us. They let us go in the house to do the interviews, Big Brother Canada. Really? Maybe we should make Mich- um, Big Meech be our reporter for that. Oh my God, yes. I On the scene. Mm-hmm. My old Twitter background thing was the hundo suite thing from last season because the HOH had like the hundo suite. Mm-hmm. Oh, how much I love Girlface, the brothers. <laughs> I really still don't remember their names. Girlface, Monkey Face. Nick and... Phil. Phil. There you go. <laughs> um, what was um, what was the relationship between Natalie and Victor like in the house earlier on? For like, you know, those first like two or three weeks, it wasn't really focused a lot on um, on the edit of the show. But were they mm-hmm. really that close or not so much? Chat room wants to know. Um, so they were only really like a thing for like two days or something like that. And it wasn't like anything like, oh, they're super close. It was just like cutesy, like, you know, here and there. Um, and then they had like a fun date that I like made fish tacos for out in the backyard. Like we had like Corey as the waiter and like I was the cook. It was just very like cutesy and fun. It wasn't anything like, you know, oh, whatever I mean. And then, and then, um, I think that they there is some tension between them victor started kind of being kind of like picking at natalie a little bit um and that's that i mean yeah. now they're yeah then now they're now they're friends yeah all mostly friends yeah <laughs> let's talk <laughs> about a moment when you guys were not you guys all you were our favorite spectator i feel you were one of all the feedsters in that jury house fight between devon and Polly. you just seem to be lo- you were like front row seat my favorite show and i'm watching where's it. the pop what was it like for you because we all saw that on the show what was it like for you to be in that moment well it was really awkward at first because i had started it i had some said some comment and then he goes and attacks poor bridget and day and i'm like what the heck shouldn't you be attacking me so i was like in shock a little bit and i'm like what is going on but i like seeing this because i mean I just want people to see how Polly really is. And I'm glad that, you know, you guys were enlightened. 
So no, you and Polly haven't talked, no more working, like no attempt to work through anything yet. Do you feel like you're in a good space or it's still right where we saw it leave off in the show? Um, well, uh, me and him had kind of like a love hate relationship. Like I was always cordial to him in the jury house at what like, you know, and, um, I don't think we have any bad beef. Um, you know, I, I'm open to being, you know, like being talking to him, but, um, I haven't, I haven't reached out to him. He hasn't reached out to me. So I'm, I always say by Christmas and I mean, I know, and this is me saying this. I am willing to bet almost that by Christmas, even you and Nicole are going no. to be very, You don't think? No, you want to make a bet? Okay, let's make a bet. Okay. We'll have to figure out what we're betting later. Okay. Uh, um, Ed Rizzo wants to know, uh, love you, Big Meech, and as a super fan, what's something about this game that surprised or disappointed you? Um, I think the thing that surprised me is how much little stuff matters and gets like blown out of proportion. Like, say someone, you know, fell off of the comp first, and then the whole talk the next day is, oh my god, they threw the comp. Oh my god. Or like, you're in a room with someone and it's just like the whole day you're saying, oh, Michelle and, you know, Eric, we're in the room talking together. Oh my god. It's just like things are such blown out of proportion and it's like under a magnifying glass and you don't think about anything else. Just going to bed at night thinking about the game always is kind of strange. <laughs> uh, I I can't imagine how you all do it in a in that pressure cooker as opposed to let's say the season that's going on right now Mm -hmm. where we know that you're watching if people were following your tweets last (laughs) night um allison at xoxo feedsters wants to know are you gonna be watching the whole season of big brother over the top and who are your faves so far yeah i'm definitely gonna try to keep on top of top of things it's really hard because i'm still really overwhelmed with a lot of stuff but i'm definitely gonna like i spent like four hours last night watching it um but i really love shelby she's so funny um i like justin i don't know (laughs) he's just quite the character and i think i know you don't like him i just i I like him because he's hilarious like i know you don't like him but it's just i've never seen anyone like him on big brother I love the season. I love the singing. I love Justin singing. And I really did like him. I was like, I feel like he doesn't want to be there. Like, I felt like he was very detached and isolating himself. But I don't know if that's because we never get to see the first week of Feeds. Right, yeah. And maybe it's just a, a adjusting process. But then apparently, yes, today a lot of stuff came out that he's not a fan of the gays. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, well, Shane seems pretty detached, too. He, he seems like he doesn't want to be there. But hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you um, don't think he's hot? He's okay. I don't know. Who do you think's the hottest? Uh, or none of them. You can choose none. None. Really? I don't know. I have a really, I have a really distinct type. Okay. I would say if I had to pick one, though, it would probably be Shane. Is there anybody from Big Brother any season who would be your type? Because I'll also tell you, you're getting a lot of date requests in the chat room. You're getting really? a lot of proposals. So you, wow. need to, you need to help your potential suitors out to know what your type is. I don't really know. It just it just happens. I can't I, I can't, you know, stay. But back to and then another I really, really like Jason. He mentioned me last night. I was so happy. Well, he mentioned the stealing. <laughs> I know, but still. You reach reached- me a bad bitch. That's all that matters. And I have to say this, because people are gonna kill me if I don't say this. On behalf of all fans of the show, Michelle. Mm -hmm. We all appreciate how you have come out of this game and are finding it all funny and laughing at it. We all wish that every player of the game could come out and and handle themselves the way that you are. And so many people like, make sure you just tell her that we love how she interacts with fans postseason. Now she's handling it all. So I'm relaying that message to you. I think I think that what really helped is I was on the other side of things. I was like in your guys' shoes, like on the chat rooms, like on Reddit, like, you know, commenting about people, talking shit about people, you know, so I pretty much expected it all. The one thing that shocked me, though, was on Survivor Sucks that 
Munchell 50 page thread about my eating habits. I found it hilarious though. People were like, don't look at it. Don't look at it. You're going to be scarred for life. I was reading through it. I literally peed my pants. Literally peed my pants. Hilarious. Okay. Now I did not know at the time of this, of, you know, that the issues and stuff, I always go for the joke and I just thought it was how you ate. So my, my joke on was, I was always like, I don't know why you, why you were always with your whole hand. I was like, I always want to just show her that you don't need the whole hand. I'm the same way too. I eat things in three bites. Like if you give me a burger, I'm like, bite, bite, gone. I have no manners. What can I say? I, I, I honestly look back and I look disgust. Like I eat disgustingly. And this is why I don't want to go on dates to restaurants because of that. <laughs> Are you the youngest? No, you're, we know that you're not the youngest middle. Child? Middle child. No, I'm the oldest. Oh, now that's weird to me. Cause like I have my eating issues because I'm the youngest. I feel like I always had a fight for the food with everyone. <laughs> you're the oldest. You should just be able to rip the food away from all those people. Yeah, I don't I don't know what my issues are. I think they're very deep rooted. <laughs> I think we want to help you, Michelle. I don't think there are anything you can't do. And I think you've already <laughs> done the hardest thing in your life. I think you've already played Big Brother and <laughs> are gonna play it again. I will also say a ton of people I hope so. I would say that's a definite. <laughs> I don't I don't I honestly people are saying production hates me, so <laughs> mm, nope. Nope, nope. <laughs> I would not say that at all. I would say you were the ideal person. You never rolled over and died. You fought the whole time to be there. You weren't afraid of conflict. You didn't back Wait. away from th- what? Did you watch my last week? I didn't okay. campaign. You but yes, you stayed in bed a lot, but that last week, not the whole season, the last week, but you were never afraid to confront the people with things. You were never afraid to stand your ground. A lot of people kind of roll over and die, but then that's it. I thought it was more strategic on your end. Right. Like you were waiting to the end because you knew there's so much time. If yeah. you do something earlier in the mm-hmm. week, it's not going to apply at the end of the week right before voting. So I thought you were right. being strategic about it. No, gotcha. you, you say no, you weren't. <laughs> just take it. Just say you were being strategic about it. Wait, no, it's just it's just freezing. No. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. I think it it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. Okay. Well, I say it doesn't matter, Michelle. People loved you, is what I'm Thanks, saying. Thanks, guys. I think I'm going to say you. I can see Glenn. I can see Victor and Paul all playing again from your season. We, let's let's make it happen, Glenn. Let's do a final two. I definitely see it have like a second chances season, an all star season. I think one hundred percent, um, it it would happen. So, uh, I don't know what. Are you happy with America's favorite player? Let's go there. Are you? Happy yeah, with yeah. America's favorite player? I totally predicted it in jury. I called it. I thought that. Um, I thought it would be. Victor, Natalie, and Paul, I was super close. I didn't really expect James to get it. I was pretty surprised. Um, but yeah, Victor totally deserves it. He's a, such a nice, amazing guy. I've heard he's interacting with a lot of fans right now. Um, mm-hmm. He battled his way back three times. He got screwed over. He was loyal. And, you know, he's hilarious, too. That nature walk thing, hilarious. As a super fan... Would you have voted for Victor in the final two? Let's say if Victor was against Paul, who would you have given the win to? Victor. You would have. See, Yeah. I I feel like I would have too, but then everybody said he got voted out three times and it's not fair to the people that didn't get voted out. Yeah, that's true. But that's the twist. Yeah. For playing into the twist. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't really know. Um, um, tons of questions. Sweet. Shelly, uh, a lot of people are just keep wanting me to tell you that you look beautiful. Oh, thanks, guys. SS Alate from the chat room wants to know. <laughs> we have to talk about another moment from this season. The removing of Pablo from the house. Oh, a lot of people got really mad. It was kind of scary. It's like, what are you, five? Like, yeah. oh, I'm stealing someone's toy. Big whoop. It's a freaking plastic pelican that, that was in a comp. Like, big whoop. You have it. No, I don't. No. And I thought Paul did, too, but none of us have it. I don't know what happened. 
I really wanted to at least see scenes with you in it in the jury house. Like I thought we would right? have had you wearing it in the jury house. Oh my and gosh. Pool with it. It always surprises me that Big Brother or production doesn't pick up more on the things that social media loves and right. play yeah. a little bit more into them. It always kind of uh, seems weird to me. Um, but Bruce wants to know, what are your thoughts on winning the OTEV competition? And how did you come up with those amazing eviction speeches? By the way, love you, Mich- uh, Michelle. Love you. Um, oh my God. So what was the question about Utev? Oh, well, what how, What was it like playing it? Or hold on. Uh, yeah. What was it like being in that competition, getting to play it and winning it? Right. So my ass wasn't on the line, which kind of gave me like less like stress about it. Um, I honestly didn't think I was going to win. And I thought I was going to get out the first round. But, you know, it was amazing. I lucked out the last one because I had remembered seeing that disc somewhere. So I knew exactly where to go. And that was amazing. Um, Phase planning was scary because I have veneers on my teeth and I was afraid that I cracked one. And so I was really afraid. And then I had red hair dye. So then when I fell in the water, it looked like I was just like bleeding all over, which I thought was hilarious. But it was amazing. I wish I didn't gloat as much for poor Bridget. She felt really bad. She told me. And yeah, I feel bad. It and was, then it was Carrie moment. We lost. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then, go ahead. Um, and then the speeches. I don't really know. I just kind of spoke my mind. I wish I um, rehearsed them better. Definitely. I, you know, stuttered a whole bunch and that was kind of embarrassing. But I don't know. I just came up with it in my brain. That, that's what you got to do. Sometimes that's the best way to do it. Uh, Joey S. Uh, wants to know, well, a lot of people want to know in the chat room, uh, how much of the season have you watched so far? People loved watching that first uh, episode on Periscope with you and Natalie. How mm-hmm. far in are you now? I have not watched any others. I've seen clips oh. here and there. Um, I'm going to actually make some videos tonight. <gasps> Um, yeah, so I'm doing like an unpacking video just showing you guys what I brought to the sh- to the house and then I'm going to watch one episode tonight and do that. So expect that tonight. And also one thing that I didn't know until I got out of the house, which I find shocking, is when Polly peed in the hot tub. <laughs> I swear I am not just saying this to disagree and be interesting and I think I'm colorblind. I don't <laughs> see it. People have showed me this video in slow motion and t- I don't see, I think there's something, I believe everybody, I believe all of you that it happened. I just don't see any yellow in the water. Really? It's so yellow. He looks dehydrated. It's that's, like. That's what people tell me. I think I can't see yellow. <laughs> maybe maybe we'll have to like up the contrast do something in photoshop like they do on a right. you, csi or something you'd think i would be able to know that i <laughs> thought it was much more interesting the hot tub conversation with Corey and victor where Corey told victor that he would never date nicole outside of this game and whether huh. that is for strategy or mm-hmm. not for strategy i would love to know more in depth on that victor right. when victor was just on he said he uh, felt it was for strategy, but I want to know more about that hot tub conversation. I I don't I don't know. I think it might be. I honestly, you know, that didn't shock me that much. I kind of saw it, so I'm I'm on the other end of Victor. So I think I don't know. I mean, where do you fall as a super fan? I feel like it's very rare that in house couples work in the real world. Mm-hmm. Not that they don't want it to. It's just not practical. When you're across the country. Yeah, it is very, very hard. Um, But I think that you have a bond with someone when you're in the Big Brother house together for living, you know, because everything is sped up. Like, one month in the house with that person is like one year of dating them. So, who knows? I just just know that Corey and Nicole are very different. Like, I know Corey likes to go out a lot and Nicole is more of like a homebody. So, I don't know how that would work. Um, Well, we'll all find out. Yeah. We'll all find out. And I think everyone needs to relax either way for all couples. I hate <laughs> when people like attack the couples if they don't work out or do work right. out. Um, I have to say this because I see a lot of people getting upset about it. Denise uh, Angel m- wants to let you know, please, please, Big Beach, if you do another Periscope, go to your settings and make sure they don't delete so that your fans can watch them back. 
Okay, we'll do. I have no idea how to use Periscope, but thank you, Denise. <laughs> somebody will make this very easy. Can somebody just do some screen grabs and tweet <laughs> them to um, Michelle so that she can see exactly where that setting is? Please. That's what I do. I still <laughs> don't understand Snapchat and people try and explain it to me. <laughs> um, what do you think about the Polly and Zakia relationship? A lot of people want to know as well. Right. So, you know, I love Zakia. You know, we're on good terms. And I think she can do whatever she wants to do. Like, if she, if that's the guy she wants to be with, that's fine. Um, you know, I, I don't want to... Like, I don't know. I, I just think it's fine if they're together. You know, they do their thing. If they love each other and want to be together, that's them. So. Right. I think, uh, I think just, just let those two crazy kids be, be in love. <laughs> just They'd love. make pretty babies though. They would. They, I, Zakia is stunning. I know. She's so pretty. Absolutely stunning. Stunning. Mm-hmm. Um, people want you to know that they love your Snapchats, that they hope <laughs> that you're going to be doing more Snapchats. Oh. Okay. As well. Um, Headman20 wants to know, Michelle, how do you feel about Paul now? And are you guys going to be friends outside of the house? Okay, you know, again, I really, I, I love Paul. I mean, he did say some shit to me in the house, but you know, I said some shit right back to a lot of people. So I, I do really, really want to be friends with him. He's hilarious. Um... I, we, I haven't really, like, talked to him, like, texted him or anything, but I know, like, we've, like, tweeted here and there on Twitter, um, but yeah, so if you guys, uh, tell Paul to text me, because I want to talk to him. How about this? I have a feeling Paul will be on the show, if not tomorrow, this weekend, maybe we should record a video message. <laughs> we'll do, yeah. we do it later, and I'll be like, Paul, yeah, we have please. a surprise video message for you on this show. I voted for you, Paul. I want, I wanted you to win. I think you're an amazing person. If you don't think I'm a good person, then that's fine. Which, I do want to clear something up. Sorry. Go, go, no. So, he told me that I was a terrible, I don't know if this made the show, but I was a terrible person, um, that I just say whatever I want. I have no respect for anyone else. But then I look back and Paul is basically the same person as me. He says a lot of shit. He, you know, says what's on his mind. And I don't get how people are attacking me and saying I'm a bully and I'm a terrible person when he, you know, said shit about me week one, like that I look like Buzz Lightyear. So, <laughs> um, uh, do you, Paul said that when the season was over or when it was going on? Do you know? Like, when do you think that he said that? Oh, uh, during hear? our fight. But he said it was all... St- okay. I think I'm... From what I remember of seeing Paul, I think everything he did and said in that house was strategic. I believe Paul loves you outside of this house. I've only heard him saying good things about you okay, uh, good. outside of the house. I don't feel like Paul holds uh, would hold a grudge. And I think the, the people, when you say people who would hate you and not hate him, yeah. I, don't, I don't think I have to tell you this. People on Twitter look for any reason to get a house guest's attention. So if they're not right. going to get Paul's attention by being like, Paul, I love you, they're going to hmm. try Paul. <gasps> Guess what Michelle said about you when I know this big horrible thing? You need to follow me so that I can keep telling you. It's all just Twitter BS. Okay. I wouldn't worry about it. Focus on the fans that love you because clearly right now in this chat room you got thousands. <laughs> oh, thanks guys. Now, have you heard about Oh, this is hard. I'm trying to so be positive, but we have to talk about it because people want to oh, know. I'm an open book. Oh, no. It, well, this one's not about you. Have oh. you heard of hashtag not gay Corey? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm, you, I have. Did you like any of those tweets? I think it's funny. I'm, I might have. I don't remember. My sister, the thing is, my sister ran my account before, so she liked a whole bunch of stuff. Like, mm-hmm. it was already at 6,000 likes. Um, but... I could not believe in the first episode that they got, they gave him that edit. Like, what the heck? Why is Corey saying that? Um, yeah, I was shocked. I hope he just has fun with it. I think if he, like, is defensive about it, it's going to be mm-hmm. bad. But I think he just, I think everyone just needs to be like you. Like, he just needs to come out and be like, it's hysterical. If I was Corey, I would make a hashtag not gay Corey shirt with an arrow pointing. Yeah, that's funny. That's what, you should be, he should be making money off this. Um, 
You need to love your lovers, Leslie K. English says, love your lover lovers and ignore your haters. But I'm sure oh, that you know thanks, that. guys. Speaking of your haters, whatever happened, I'm horrible with names. Whatever happened to your Reddit person who you guys talked about in the house? Have you connected with her at all? Now yeah. that the season's over. Does she have a lawsuit against you? What? <laughs> no, I'm saying, does she? Oh. Like, was she saying anything that, like... No. no. Okay, so I did message her. We're cool. She's a sweetheart. She forgave me. It was one of those things where it was the only username I could remember, really, from Reddit. Mm-hmm. And I just remember her, like, arguing with me once, and it just stuck out. So that's why I had brought it up. But I feel horrible. But at least she got her username out there. Oh, my God. I'm sure. I'm sure that was <laughs> gold for her uh, over there. That, I will help you with everything. I will help you with Periscope. I know uh, a lot of people want you on you now. I, I will help you with anything you want help Aww, with. Thanks. You have to explain to me Reddit because I still don't understand it. Uh, we can do that another time. I okay. tried. I was actually kicked off for using it incorrectly. I don't get it. I don't know. How understand. do you get kicked off? I don't know. I don't understand what I'm doing. It was That's like fun. two years ago. I never went back. I was like, I don't understand <laughs> you, Reddit. I don't understand you. Um, uh, ask. We already did. Oh, my God. We cannot ask everyone, just to remind the chat room, we can't talk about things that were not shown on the show or on the feeds. Now, okay, maybe there's the loophole with this one because it was technically shown on the feeds. So, have you heard of that moment where there was, like, a wall yeller that said, Natalie, I mean, um, James and Nicole had a preseason alliance. It was, we saw that on the feeds. And then it you know, came into Mm -hmm. play in the house. What are your thoughts on that whole thing? Right. So I think, I know it's been circling the internet. Um, I don't think they did, to be honest, but I do know that Derek did. I think they might've known that each other were going to be there, but I don't think they were working together. Obviously, I think that maybe James would have voted for Nicole. I don't know. Well, he didn't. Yeah, so that kind of confirms it to me, so. It did, it confirmed it to me, it confirmed it to me too, and Derek did do that during the season, he did a, like, a periscope explaining to everybody exactly who he told what to, and of course I forget what he said, but he right. did periscope and uh, talked about all of it. Uh, Big uh, Brother Eats wants to know, Meech, if you and Paul were asked back to an all-newbie season, <laughs> would you two turn uh, team up and work together? I actually wouldn't. I would, because I feel like we'd already be, like, two big targets. So I feel like it would be kind of cool to have, like, one side of the house versus one side of the house. I don't know. If you could pick, so now you love uh, Big Brother Canada. If you could pick one person to play it the way the Pax Brothers had to, where you're two people but playing as one. Right. Anybody that has played Big Brother before, who would you want to be your other half in that sort of a situation? Um... Well, Dan Giesling is a phenomenal player, so I would say him. Okay. <laughs> you don't like him? I think he hates me, but whatever. I still think he played. Come on, he made it. I guess, well, I guess that means, never mind. Well, you have a brain, so I would imagine he would not like you. <laughs> um, uh, who do you think, Evelyn F. wants to know in the chat room, who do you think, besides Nicole, played the worst game this season? Um, I don't know. I think I played a pretty shitty game. Like, I I am so disappointed with myself, and I wish I played better. So I would say me, to be honest. I played a horrible game. I don't think you played a horrible game. I yeah, think you just, you don't know. It's e- I think the thing that people forget the most, like live feeders and people watching the show forget the most, is we know all the information that you guys don't know. And I Mm -hmm. think we forget that. So we always think like, why is Michelle doing this? It's so obvious. But because you didn't know a lot of the stuff that we all know watching the show. Right, right. Um, uh, What did you think of the Natalie and James fights and pranks in the house? Did they annoy you or did you enjoy them? Says I King for Truth. 
I love their relationship. I think it's so adorable. Like the last like two weeks, I was like, you know, lashed onto them. Holy, we spent so much time just like laughing and just, I was basically the third wheel. Um, as for the pranks at first, James's pranks really annoyed me. Like I, James used to be the most annoying person to me. And then I ended up loving him. Um, his pranks, funny, you know, I'm happy that I got to scare him at once. But I will say that I hated what he did during the hide the veto comp. That was awful. Destroying uh, the kitchen. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, I don't think his pranks are funny. <laughs> and yes, destroying the kitchen. I would have a mental breakdown. I would need to uh, clean it all. And I would not like it. No, try having a mental breakdown while you're trying to find the stupid veto card to save your ass because your ass is on the block and the kitchen's a mess. It was horrible. Mm. I well on the plus side I don't think James will play again. I don't think we'll ever see James or Nicole. I think that's it. Like two and done, I think. And I'm glad they were burned on this season. Uh Pashi2005 wants to know, uh, Meech, who had your favorite speech this season? So aside from your own, was there anybody's speech this season who you were like, oh my god, I love that speech? Oh, uh- Jeez. Ah, uh, Tiffany's. I thought hers was badass. And you said that you and her talk now and that mm-hmm. you guys are fr- good. We, that's an alliance I want to see. On a- She's so nice because I was so mean to her that last week, like just ignoring her. And I'm just so happy that she, you know, will forgive me. <laughs> I think she will. I think she will. Oh, she did. She did. I'm happy. Uh, Honey Asparagus on Twitter wants to know, as a fan of Big Brother, what is your criteria for a good house guest and a bad house guest as a viewer now? Okay, so one is they have to be like entertaining, give good speeches. So that's one thing I really try to incorporate because that's what I really love, like in all past seasons, just being you know, funny, um, and you're in like calling out people is Mm -hmm. gold. I love watching that. Um, also not going with the house, which is something I was guilty of this season. Um, I don't like seeing that as a viewer. Um, I don't like seeing people throw comps, which I only threw one comp or which was the stupid area freshener. Um, one, the the roadkill one. Yeah. Did it really smell bad? Oh my god, so bad! I don't know. I I asked one. I asked someone what what it, what they used, and it was called like liquid ass or something. Like it's legit something you could buy on Amazon. So really, should give that one away. Oh, maybe we should <laughs> give that one away. That's a good idea. <laughs> um, okay, uh, that is actually pretty funny. Uh, tell us. Uh, oh my god, everybody wants to know if E. I know we've already talked about it, but. <laughs> If Ian said, um, Big Meech, I want to take you out on a date, on a for real date, would you do it? Would you go and go on a for real, real date with Ian? Yeah, of course. I already told him that I would go on a, like, a for real date. We want to say it. We definitely, <laughs> definitely want to say it. Um, a lot of people uh, want to know, would you have stayed to play Big Brother over the top had that been a twist? Like if they would have said to any of you in the jury, if you want to stay and play again, you can. Would you have done it? Uh, yes, I told them I would have. Like I remember telling Jeff, I was like, don't waste your money on a like a plane ticket back. My bag's already here. Everything's here. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. But sadly, it didn't happen. So mm. I would have loved to play with Jason. That would have been fun. It, oh, my God. Who also... <laughs> who... I know he said that on the feeds, but him and I have talked many times, and he loves you. So I thought Yay! it was weird that he said that, because he definitely said you were great feeds and great show. I don't think he didn't say it in a bad way, in yeah. my opinion. So I don't think he says anything in a bad way, honestly. Elf Star 89 in the chat room wants to know, do you think they should get rid of America's favorite player? People thinks it affects the game too much. What are your thoughts, Big Meech? Um, yeah, I think so. I think James would have played differently if it wasn't for AFP. Um, I think that maybe they should tell us that there isn't one, and then there is one. Ooh, that Yeah, so they tell the house guests, but it can only work for one season because then they'll catch on. But, um, yeah, that would, that's actually a good point. 
this this season this big brother over the top is like one big giant america's favorite play yeah and as much as i love jason in the real world if it really is that we get to keep somebody safe each week Mm -hmm. and we get to vote the winner i almost Mm -hmm. feel bad for the other people playing because we voted Jason in, we're going to obviously vote him to be safe each week, and then right. we get to vote for the winner. So, I I don't know. I almost feel bad for him a little bit in that way. I feel like they can't do that. I feel like they're going to say you can't be safe back-to-back weeks or something. Yeah, for sure. I feel like the care package thing. Right. Or you uh, couldn't get it again. Right. Wesley Lester wants to know, what was a moment in the house? Like, what was your most surreal moment in the house? Or what was your favorite moment out of everything in the house? Um, I really had a lot of fun during uh, Drunk Me Tonight. That was probably, I just like loved everyone. I was just having so much fun in the house. Um, And the Outback thing was really fun. Just being like a formal dinner with everyone. Well, half the house. Um. Yeah, just w- but walking in those doors is really surreal. I regret being the first one to walk in, though. I should have just like awkwardly like waited outside till someone else went in first. You think that's but... really a curse with the person that goes in first? Yeah, Scott. Scott did it. I'm bad, but I don't think they get to choose. Yeah, I don't think you do either. Uh, Mara girl wants to know, Meech, do you, or she just she wants you to know. Do you know now that America voted for you for CoHOH because we thought that after you called Nicole out, you would then take her out? Yeah, now I regret it so much. Thanks so much for voting for you guys. I'm sorry I fucked it up, but um, I that's my biggest regret in the game is not, you know, it was just hard because I felt like I was almost hijacking Natalie's HOH and she was very gun ho on like protecting James. But I wish that I had stood my ground and told her, cause guess what? If she would have nominated Paul and I would have nominated like Corey or Nicole, Paul still would have won that veto, took himself off and one of them would have went home. So it sucks. Mm hmm. Uh, did having New Jersey girl wants to know, did having vets enter the house change your strategy or were you still able to play the game the way you wanted to or what you thought was your plan when you walked into the house? No, the vets fucked it up because um let's see here i kind of planned on not telling the other house guests like i'm sure some of them weren't fans of the show but i think having vets in the house let out a lot of like secrets later on like studying the days i'm sure people that know nothing about the game they would have never studied the game the days um and there's just a lot of stuff like um like the jury house like you you know you going to the jury house if you make it past the fifth person i feel like people would have played more recklessly and i don't know i think they definitely did screw it up so mm-hmm. um annie wants to know if you were offered to do the amazing race would you do it you would do yeah it. And, yeah, of course. And who would you want to do it with? I think Natalie would be a lot of fun. Really? Would you do Survivor? Yeah. I would, but I'd be horrible at it. But I think it would be pretty funny to watch because I'd cry a lot. <laughs> and I'd lose. I, would, I wouldn't be eating all the time, so <laughs> that's good. Mm, yeah, I don't do Survivor. <laughs> Plus, Caleb would be there. Probably. I think he's burned his seasons. Um, I, going back to the whole Paul thing kind of a little bit, two questions. Mm-hmm. One, uh, would you uh, go to Paul's Halloween party? And part B, what are you going to be for Halloween? A lot of people want to know. Yeah, if I'm still invited, I want to go. Of course. I think that'd be so much fun. Um, gosh, I was thinking about going as my comic book character. I was going to get a pink onesie, get like a pail, do a vomit on there, and then get a rattle. I think that would be kind of cute. Um, <clears throat> what did you think of it? Like a lot of us um, felt like we didn't think it was a great representation of you, that comic book <laughs> character. Like, yes, we got that it was the baby and the crying and the vomiting, but, I mean, you seemed to love it and and took it all great and in stride. Do you wish they would have mm-hmm. done anything different with your, char- with your character? Maybe it slimmed me down a bit, but people were just saying it's supposed to be a baby body. It I is. mean, and I know I talk about how fat I am all the time, so... I'm sure it was just production poking fun at me, so. 
whatever. It's funny. And be it. And be it. And then sell that outfit on uh, <laughs> on on eBay. And do like do it. Like dress up for it. Wear it. Take your picture. Sign it. Put it on eBay. That's what I would do. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm now the comic book character. <laughs> um, did you go back to look at the poly eviction tweet hashtags? No, fill me in. I can't because I don't know, but I see the chat room asking it over and over again. It probably wasn't great. It probably well, was not great. I do know that We Hate Polly California was, like, trending, like, on, like, top 10 or something like that. I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, people d- did not w- did not seem to be a Polly uh, fan this season. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll be on probably this weekend, and you guys can ask him. <laughs> oh, really? Did, you- did he actually say yes? Mm-hmm. But I, whatever. It's a slippery slope for me. <laughs> That, I I'd need like, no, I'm going to come in that chat room. Okay, come in that chat room. <laughs> you I'm can, curious to see what he's going to say about me. You, mm, I have a feeling it might not be bad, but then what the hell do I know? Clearly, I don't know <laughs> anything. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Battle of the Block? Do you wish it would have been implemented uh, in your season, or did you like playing without it? No, I wish it was. And I know, I know, everyone hates it, but as a player, I think everyone says it's like, re- like really good. Um, and plus, that would mean more chances for me to win HOH. That's true. And I, yeah, I, I got voted in one. I never actually won one for myself, so that was kind of disappointing. But whatever. Is that what? Uh, is that? Would you say that's one of your biggest regrets then from the season? Is not winning your own HOH? I mean. It is a regret, but I feel like there's nothing I could have done. I just didn't do well. Um, ex- I think I could have done better at that the counting veto, though. I was the one I got sent home on. I was like about to guess one sixteen, and I would have gotten the candy cane and Nicole would have won. So, oh, Christmas events, gotta love them in that house. <laughs> A lot of people want to know, um, not just this, but Rockstay Hour on Twitter wants to know, will you be attending the BB Can premiere party? By the way, love you and you're gorgeous. Aw, thank you. But not- And yeah- Yes, what? you will. I was going to say not just that. A lot of people want to know there's the New York City premiere party for Big Brother, all those. Will you go to those type of events? I want to go to everything. I That's like the best part about being on Big Brother is to get to interact with you guys and past house guests because I fangirl out so hard just like, you know, talking to these people and it just makes me so excited. So, yeah. And I love Canada. Oh, Canada's the best. You will totally love it. Um, Okay, so I want to let you guys know in the chat room right now, we only have about five minutes left. So don't forget that number one fan is winning Big Beach uh, Autograph Tissues <laughs> on this show, as well as someone who retweeted the show is also going uh, to get uh, that. But you have so many fans. I know this might be hard for you to believe, but you yeah. have so So many fans. I'm going to say I think more people than were in the Victor show on this show. Really? Yeah. What? Let's start with what do you want to say to all of your fans that uh, are here or that supported you all season? Right. Well, I just want to say thank you guys so, so much. I honestly thought I would come out of here hated. Um. I know I had a rough start in the beginning with, like, the comments in my intro video, my Reddit, and then, um, you know, the Bridget thing. And I'm so glad you guys can all look past that and see me as the real person I am. Um, It just, it means so much. All your support is amazing. I'm trying my hardest to get to tweet all you guys back to favorite stuff to on Instagram, Snapchat, all of that. So... Thanks, guys, so much. Now, let's go with that social media stuff. I have your Twitter right here. And, of course, anybody <laughs> watching this edited show back can get all the links to uh, Big Meech's social media accounts <laughs> below this video. But tell us again what your Snapchat is. Okay, it's just Michelle period Meyer. Instagram? Michelle M-E-Y-R. So there's no E at the end. Do you have a Facebook that you're going to let people uh, follow? Or- yeah, it's just Mich- 
It's just Michelle Meyer, I think. I, 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 it's a picture. I don't know what the link is, but I'm sure you guys can find me. We'll put the links below this show, um, on the edited, uh, on the edited version of the show. All right. So I'm going to say that Camila Cabana is your number one fan on this show. Woo! Camila Cabana! So, Thanks, girl. She absolutely loved you. We loved you, Big Me. You have Thanks, so, guys. so many fans. If you guys want to hear more, see more, you need to follow her on all of her social media accounts. I have a feeling once you get more relaxed and settled in and can and can just not have me bothering you to come on for all the Stop, fans, you're awesome. We're going to have uh, Big Meech come back on and talk a little yes. the OTT as yes, well. Where you for can sure. talk about other cast members. <laughs> we can debate about Justin. Oh, we could debate about that. <laughs> yeah, we, we can do that. Um, all right, everybody. We love you guys, chat room. We yeah, will, thank you, guys. We will see you guys later. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> hey, God, just kidding. I love you. <laughs>